Hi, welcome to another Getting Started video for Spira Team. Today we're going to talk about the dashboards, the home pages inside Spira Team. There's three different types. There's one for you, your own personal page. There's a project home page, and there's a project group or program home page. Now, when you first log in for the first time, certainly on a brand new install, you may well be logged in as system administrator. But even if you're a brand new user and your, your company's just getting started using the system, your main page may look something like this. It's gonna look pretty empty because things have not yet been assigned to you. Once your company's been using it for a while, it might look a little bit more like this. Here we see Fred's homepage, and you can see he is busy and, well, I'm glad to say my homepage does not look as busy as Fred's does. He's got an awful lot of things he has been assigned to do. So let's take a quick run through of what this page is showing us. So here we have the projects that Fred has been assigned to. He's working on three, all three projects actually in this sample system. There's also this cool quick launch bar where you can quickly create an incident in any project you like just by selecting a project and clicking the plus button. There are other ways of creating incidents really quickly in the system, and we'll have another video explaining that in this playlist. Scrolling down the page, you can see all the things that have been assigned to Fred. Here we have his assigned requirements. So these are the, all the requirements he's working on. Here are all the incidents he's working on. And he's also got a number of test cases and test sets. So he's both doing testing, working on requirements, and working on incidents. And those incidents and requirements have been broken down in tasks down here at the bottom of the page. Now, almost all of these tasks you can see list the project, and that's library information system for Fred. But if you go to the top, you can actually filter it by the current project. So currently, we're in library information system. If we switch to sample application one, you'll see that Fred's homepage looks the same. If we then flip to filtering it by the current project from over here, and you can see it's only showing what he's got going on for that one project. You can see he's just got one incident down here that he's working on for sample application one. So that's a really good way of just getting a quick view into one particular project. Let's now switch to the project homepage, and this will look the same no matter who's viewing it as long as they have access to the project in full. Here you can see we also have lots of widgets on the left and right hand side showing lots of useful information about the project as a whole. We can see information about issues and risks, how testing is going, progress against releases, progress against incidents, and you can see a chart. Here we're showing a burn down, you can change that to actually show a burn up, a velocity chart, or a coverage chart. I think it's really quick just to click that button and you're seeing different information. And you can do exactly the same with tasks down here. This is a really good way of getting a quick view into exactly what's going on for your project. For this, you can actually filter by different releases. So currently we're displaying all the data for the project for different releases. Let's now pick release one and all its children, and you can see the information here changed. If we switch now to 1.1, take a look at that test execution, you can see it changes again. Finally, we have the project group or program page, and here you can see the similar information that we have for the project page, but now it's aggregated up for everything at the whole program level. So everything combined for all the different projects in that program. This internal projects program only actually has two projects in it. You can see those over here, library information system and sample application one. While we're on this page, let's just see some of the customizations you can do, not just for this dashboard, but for the others as well. Key is these two buttons up here. Let's first of all do the modify layout. Here you can see the tops, the header bars of each of the widgets are nicely colored. And you can see we've got this crosshair. So if we now just click and drag, you can see that you can actually move things around. If you see the red line, the red horizontal line, you can see exactly where we could move things. So let's move this group overview over here and let's move the project list over here. So we've effectively swapped the project list and group overview around. And then to get back to normal view, just click back to normal view. You can also add items, you click this button and you can see which things have been closed or other items that are available. Let's add top open issues and we're gonna add it to the left-hand side. 
And you can see that immediately got added right to the top of the screen. If you wanted to move that, again, click on Modify Layout Settings, and then you could move it to wherever you like. I finally just wanted to show you that all of these dashboards, and here we're just looking at the project dashboard for Library Information System, all of them work really well on mobile. This is a smartphone, and you can see, you can just see absolutely everything, really nicely designed. So we find this really helpful in the office to just, while you're on your commute, open up your phone, take a look at the home pages and see what's been assigned, what you've got outstanding, and what issues are going on in your projects or for your programs. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up so we know to make more videos like this. Also, please feel free to leave a comment to let me know what you think about our dashboards. I'd love to hear from you. And if you'd like to stay up to date with the latest hints, tips and tricks for Spira Team and other Inflectra products, please feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching.